It's become my mission for a long while to try to figure out how to easily travel with a bigger cinema rig. That also includes carrying a tripod, and specifically a video tripod. And it sounds simple in theory, but for me it really hasn't. Um, shout out to the guy who just started playing bagpipes in the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but kind of sick. <laughs> and the big reasons for me is, one, travel tripods kind of suck for heavier setups. And two, camera bags suck for carrying bigger tripods, or even tripods in general for the most part. So it's been my mission to try to figure out how to find a happy balance between the two. And I finally figured out a setup that actually kind of works for me. So stoked to break it down in this video because I feel like with the camera market kind of slowly trending back into bigger camera bodies with the R5C, C70, uh, FS6, those bigger cameras, filmmakers want to be mobile. So let's do it. Can you hear this guy playing bagpipes in the background? Kind of sick though. I've been through a ton of camera bags over the years and I just have this obsession of like wanting to travel with minimal gear as possible but also having everything I need at the same time. I know that sounds weird but I'm usually just carrying a body, maybe one or two lenses. But the big thing for me is having a tripod as well and surprisingly, there's not a huge market to camera bags with a tripod holder. I've even tried making my own by just like shoving random things in tote bags or different backpacks to see if it could work. And I've never really had success until uh, I got this guy, the Provoke 21. They have a bunch of different sizes in this specific camera bag model, but this is the one I could find used. So I got this one, but it's perfect. It's small enough to carry everything I just mentioned. And uh, yeah, I don't feel like I have that FOMO of uh, not having my gear and being able to carry everything that I need. Let's dive into this, the tripod portion that has kind of changed my life a little bit. Uh, when you think video tripods, you think these massive, big, bulky, heavy duty fluid heads. And years ago, I bought the Manfrotto Be Free tripod when I was had like a little bit of a mirrorless setup. So it was nice and light. The original fluid head on this thing is great for light setups, but horrible when you have something like a C70. Every time I would put it on and not pay attention, the entire thing would just be facing down. So after doing some research in this whole travel tripod market, I realized that there was kind of a gap in the market, or at least that's what I think. Maybe I'm totally wrong and you can correct me in the comments, but I feel like Peak Design has kind of cornered the market in terms of travel tripods, but they're not so optimized for shooting video. Instead of buying a new tripod, I swapped out the head on the Be Free Manfrotto just because these legs are actually pretty sick. They're nice and small, fit in a bag, but the head was the issue that just couldn't handle the weight. So this Manfrotto head is an older head, but I actually did some research of lighter fluid heads that could take the weight of the C70. And this one came up, I also found it used. So I uh, bought that for a hundred bucks and then basically changed this tripod completely for me, which I'm super, super happy with and would definitely recommend if you're looking for a fluid head, but also have a heavier camera setup. So all these things together have really solved my problem with being able to bring my cinema setup around. I know more and more filmmakers nowadays are trying to be mobile or trying to do run and gun setups. And I just couldn't really find anything that suited my needs of being lightweight, easy to travel with and could fit everything that I needed. And so I tried to make the best thing that I could and I think I succeeded, at least for myself I did. And yeah, I just wanted to make this little video guide in case uh, anybody else finds themselves in my shoes. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Mitzen, what are you doing, dude? Just walking around, doing your own thing. All right, see ya.